Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Well, it's the end of the week. It's going fast this year. Lots of news, lots of news. Okay, this video is one month, 31 day struggle meals, seven, seven foods to stockpile. Okay, so I have made almost all of these meals on my channels. I'm pretty sure all of them. So number one is egg salad sandwich and chips. So you noticed I uh, stockpiled chips the other day. Number two is bread and milk with sugar. So you might be thinking, what kind of meal is that? Well, my grandfather used to eat it once a day before he went to bed every day of his life. So here is my Irish soda bread. So this is one of the meals that I eat at night. I'm looking for these. I was at the thrift store today. So uh, when I make this, this could be biscuits, this could be cornbread, so this is really good. So I just, I go with one little piece at a time so my bread doesn't get soggy. This is the old time uh, Mormons. I mean, real old. My grandmother made the bread every morning, every day of her life. And they were as healthy as could be. Um, I stockpile shelf stable milk at from Dollar Tree. So uh, believe it or not, this will hit the spot. Sugar. This is cute. I like this sugar bowl, but I don't have a creamer that goes with this that I like. So I will eat this a little bit at a time. And actually, you can do away with, maybe this is why my grandmother <laughs> had to make the bread every morning, huh? In case you didn't get the recipe, um, let me show you. I buy this at uh, Walmart. And then I bought these at Aldi's, and I just took the cranberries out for my bread, and it's very delicious. I usually let the dough set in the pan about 10, 10 minutes to activate the soda. Uh, uh, that little loaf I made was a half a batch. Okay, so number two. Uh, bread and milk with sugar. Number three, sausage sandwich. I buy any kind of sausage. Kavalsa, pork sausage, the little ones. I make patties. And usually I put mustard on it. Spaghetti, olives, and Parmesan cheese. So this is a good one. I put this in my stockpile. And I just use like the, the dry Parmesan cheese and olives. Enchiladas with olives and cheese. Chili dogs and fries. So I'm always looking for hot dogs, for sausages. I've been getting some great sausages at all these. BLTs, that's cheap. Uh, I, uh, so that's a whole week. Let me give it to you. Uh, you know, if you stock up bacon, chances are you're probably not going to starve because you could have bacon with gravy and bread. You can have beans with bacon, potato soup with bacon, uh, bacon and eggs. Okay, week two, beans and cornbread, any kind. I've done beans. That's why I'm not uh, cooking tonight. I have beans left over. Pancakes with jam and eggs. And then the pancake cake mix comes in handy for all kinds of things. You can make bread. You can mix it up, um, you know, a little bit on the thick side. And you can coat a uh, zucchini or eggplant. I'll probably make that. That is a good thing to make when you have uh, tomato gravy. And, and you can fry up some onion rings. You just, you know, coat them with the pancake mix. That's very delicious. You know, any kind. Uh, stir fry. 
Number three, okay, you just fry the bacon or some Spam, you know, to season up your pan. And then I usually move the meat over to one side and I put a little um, butter on the other side and I scramble eggs. But you can do it where you uh, mix the egg up with one tablespoon of water and pour it all over the whole thing, but that's not the way I do it. Then mix vegetables frozen or canned rice and then season with salt pepper and sugar and uh then number four is turkey burger turkey i see they have some good looking turkey burger at aldi's so long before uh you know we're half going broke if we get some of this food in mind sausage gravy and biscuits or bacon gravy and biscuits Large order of fries. Okay, I had that today. I had, um, oh, I had, this was good. I had a large order of fries with uh, ketchup at McDonald's because on my app, I could get that for $1.30 something. I go, how much is a large order of fries? And she goes, $5. <laughs> oh my God. But you could make your own taco bowl. So how I do it is I have rice. Uh, beans or the meat mixture with cheese and uh, some lettuce and tomatoes. So here is the end of week two. Okay, uh, week three. Frozen pizza. I was eating that today. I bought Mama Cozy's pizzas at Aldi's for three fifty. And and so I usually eat a half a one. So you know it's a dollar seventy five. French toast and sausage or bacon or eggs, soup and crackers, any kind of soup. The bean soup I made, canned soup, any soup. Macaroni and cheese with hot dogs. I used to, I used to make that once a week. We survived fine on that. We, we like it. Eggs with grits and bacon or sausage or no, no bacon or sausage, but if you, I get the instant grits and the little packages and then I put my bacon and my sausage on top of my grits and then the eggs to the side. Number six, I've been eating this for a couple weeks. Two double cheeseburgers for $4 from McDonald's. I mean, if you buy your hamburger for a dollar for a quarter pound, you can't, you can't make a hamburger, a double hamburger for a, uh, any cheaper really and, and that includes cheese number said seven potato soup with sausages i usually make cabalsa sausages but it can be any kind so that's why you need your uh, shelf stable milk or you can use your buttermilk or you can use coffee creamer if that was all you had be thinking about some of this stuff week four Tuna sandwich and chips. I used to eat that every Sunday for years. Chicken pot pie. Okay, you can make your own or you can buy it. Uh, there's there's good chicken pot pies for $5. Or if you wait until they're on sale, you can pick up a few. Chili mac. You can either put it your chili and macaroni and cheese or you can just use uh, macaroni instead of uh, beans. Top ramen with Okay, you cook your top ramen, then you get one egg and a tablespoon of water, and you beat that, and you put it in your top ramen, and stir it around like egg drop soup, and then five drops of hot sauce, and it's best if you have Cheetos, flaming Hot Cheetos, can of beef stew and biscuits. Okay, the best one is this one. Uh, I usually buy them at Walmart pretty cheap, or mashed potatoes, or rice, whatever you have. Okay, um, tomato soup and peanut butter crackers. All right, that sounds awful, but have you tried these um, these crackers from um, Dollar Tree? I have been eating tomato soup and, and these crackers for weeks. I'm not suffering. Okay, uh, seven, lunch meat and cheese sandwich with lettuce and tomatoes. So the so you see this stuff, and if you find some on sale, you grab it or you get a couple extras. 
I bought uh, four dented cans of vegetables today. Uh, the vegetables were getting, I don't think I have, oh, I do have them. They have predicted that the canned vegetables are going to get expensive. So I bought, uh, they're, they're saying watch out for corn. These are pretty badly done, but they're okay. Uh, here's another one. And these were 75 cents each. So the regular price is $1.50. I bought enchilada sauce. So is and then I bought peas. What I, I make with peas mainly is pea soup. Uh, if, you haven't, if you haven't heard how I make it, I uh, cook the peas in with the juice, salt, pepper, and sugar. And then I make white gravy. I just get a little butter. I melt it. I put a little flour. I cook the raw taste out. And then I start stirring milk in to make a thin gravy. Then I um, put the peas in the blender and I pulverize them and I force them into a screen into the gravy. And then if you have homemade bread. And uh, with the green enchilada sauce, remember I made the pork verde, but you can make enchiladas. When I find enchilada sauce on uh, sale, cheap like that, then I know I can have my cheese and olive enchiladas. All right, well, now we have four because we're getting 32 meals. Jack in the box tacos. Those are cheap, but at times they really hit the spot. Taco Bell big beefy burritos are $2 each. Tuna casserole and canned meals. So for the canned meal, I just took this out. At times these hit the spot. I like to make a uh, cornbread with these. So that's pretty much it for the meals. And even if you only get one or two meal ideas that you could, this is good. Uh, when you start making this bread all the time, it starts coming out better and better. Now, items to stockpile. Shelf stable milk. I would put this at the top of the list. You don't want to be running out of dairy. Homemade cottage cheese. I've shown you how to make that a zillion times. You just heat your milk to almost boiling. You turn the heat off. You add about, for one cup, one or two tablespoons of vinegar or lemon. Then you just take it off the heat and cover it. And you wait for it to uh, coagulate. And then you strain it. And you have cottage cheese, homemade yogurt. Okay, I still have a yogurt I bought at Aldi's for 44 cents. I make it with shelf-stable milk. Heat the milk to 180. Then cool it to around 120 and add your yogurt to it. Then put your yogurt in two glass jars and put lids on them, but not too tight. And then put hot jars, two on each side, and cover them like in a cooler with a towel. And just don't be in a hurry and you'll have yogurt. Put a gravy with your shelf-stable milk. Potato soup. Hot chocolate. Smoothies. One half cup frozen fruit. Three quarter cups yogurt. One and a half cups milk. So don't discount these simple things because... You're going to make all the difference if you don't have that much money. That's why, like, if I see hot chocolate packets, I grab them. So you get used to this stuff, and you go, oh, I, I'll take that. Now, number two thing is oatmeal, so you can make oat milk. So remember we were saying if you don't have any milk, it'd be better to use oat milk than uh, water. You just boil your oatmeal. And when the water gets milky, pour that out and reboil the oatmeal until, you know, it's just about pulverized. Then blend everything and run it through a screen and you'll have some oat milk. Granola. Okay, for granola, all you have to know is one quarter cup oil, one quarter cup honey, and you can add one quarter cup peanut butter. Then you need three cups oatmeal and three cups dry fruit and seeds or seeds. 
four oat flour, you know, if you needed to make bread and you just have a little flour, you just blend your oatmeal in your blender until it's flour. Uh, oatmeal with banana chips, nuts or raisins and milk. Oatmeal cookies or bars. I'm liking bars. Uh, and also in your smoothies, you can put two tablespoons of uh, oatmeal in your smoothie. So here's the good ideas for oatmeal. I saw a guy in Aldi's the other day buying four large Aldi oatmeals. A lot of people who are into bodybuilding. Okay, nuts and seeds. The time to buy nuts and seeds Here's an example. I bought this at all these for $2.55. Or, you know, seeds. Uh, mean Queen Super Scrimper. Uh, she grinds her seeds in the blender and then puts them on her oatmeal. I hesitate to mention people on my channel. There's been a bit of drama. Okay, tuna. So why tuna is so good is like tuna sandwiches. Tuna is easy to store too. Uh, one of my followers a while back said, why don't you just store a case of tuna? And I go, yeah. So I eat tuna every Sunday if I want to. Or, you know, a tuna casserole. Peanut butter. You can put peanut butter in stuff like peanut butter cookies, granola, peanut butter bread, raisins. So you're always going to have a little fruit to use like in your bread, to use like on your oatmeal and cookies, oil or shortening. Now during the war, World War II in Germany, when they ran out of oil, it was a bad scene. And then tea. So you always have something. This is um, this is um, McDonald's tea, and I I can drink tea from McDonald's as opposed to Diet Coke. All right. So that's on the storable food. Start growing a year-round garden. Okay. What I did this year is when I bought those. Um, the squash, I saved the seeds, and they're growing pretty good out there in my backyard. Save the seeds out of your food. Just save them. Get like baby food jars and put the seeds in or any kind of jars. Save your little containers and then plant some seeds in there. The ones you want to concentrate on are cherry tomatoes because you can grow those year round. Onions, if you get the green onions, you just put the in with roots in the dirt when it grows up or in water. Squash, now that's easy because you get a ton of seeds. Peppers, any kind of peppers, you get a ton of seeds. Anything with roots. Then stockpile a little extra money. A dollar a day or five dollars a week is really going to come in handy. Okay, now, try to earn a little extra money. Okay, I told you they ended the swap meet. I go, oh no, you know, it was my plan always to do the swap meet. So I thought, we'll just evolve now. So back here, you see this is a brass punch bowl. It was actually, it was $90. And I thought, wow, it's I like it, but it's expensive. So when I buy something like this, I ask myself, if I fail to uh, sell this, do I want to keep it? And so look how pretty it is. And the answer is yes, I do. So today I cleaned it up, not too much, not with any strong chemical. All I used was a half cup vinegar, one teaspoon salt, and then two tablespoons flour, but thick enough, add flour until you have a paste. And then I just rubbed it in. Uh, the bowl turned out really pretty. Look at this. And uh, oh, I listed this for $250. If it doesn't sell, that's okay. I'll keep it myself. Now, I have been trying to do this. Take a look at this. Maybe some of you can get this. This is a vintage Betty Crocker cookbook, and I listed this for 100 bucks. Some people are selling theirs for 150 And then try to improve your dwelling 
every single day. It's just going to make the biggest difference. So I have been working on my dwelling. I'm trying to help one of my friends and it is so difficult at times, but if you keep just working on it little by little, eventually uh, it starts to improve. So what I made today was I made a mini of my son. It turned out so terrific. I found a new, I found a new uh, Walgreens and the guy was so nice. So here is, a, I made a mini of my brother's super fine convoluted art and he is having a book published and I will show you because I'm getting one. It's very expensive, but I'm getting it free. And then uh, here's one. My brother had some big ones of these, and they were so pretty. Oh, my God, but they're so expensive, you know. So, um, you know, and try to get some plants in your house or like I have wildlife. <laughs> so, okay, you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.